Hello, everyone. My name is Tyler Phelps. I'm with SciTech South, and I'm going to be starting a video series of roughly 10 to 15 long minute videos that are going to go over the, the software that is involved with Trimble equipment. So the first video we're going to do here is going to go over file management for SiteWorks, with SiteWorks being Trimble's site rover software. So my goal here is to show you guys who are out in the field the easiest and best way to get your files from your computer and into Trimble SiteWorks. So the first thing we're going to do today is go over what to do with a model once your model builder sends it to you. And before we get started, let's go over what exactly the model is. And how I define the model, and I, I copied and pasted it, I'm going to paste it here. But I say, I, I call the model a computer file that gives cut fill information based on the lines that are given to you in the job plans. And the model is something that you're going to hear us SciTech guys go on and on about. And it's very important. It's the basics of what all of this stuff is built around. So the model itself consists of two files. The first one being a line work file. And that comes to you in the form of a DXF. That is the file type that it's going to come to you as. It's going to be linework.dxf. The second one is the surface file. And it is going to come to you as a TTM. And they're exact, the line work file is exactly what it says to you. It's, going to, it's the file that gives you the lines that end up on your screen. The surface file is what gives you cut fill information. So if you only have a line work file, you're only going to see lines on your screen and you're not going to get any kind of cut and fill information. Likewise, if you have only a surface file, you're not going to see, you'll see the cut fill information for wherever you're at on your job, but you will not see any lines on your screen. When you combine both of these together, you get what we call the model. So let's say we go out, it's Monday, we're expecting our model builder to send us the file and all of a sudden the email comes through. We get a notification saying that, you know, so-and-so from SciTech sent you your model. They send you a text message, hey, here, I just sent you an email with your model, you should find it soon. So you can go into, we're going to get into kind of the file structure that we need, how we want to set up, how we want to organize. And that's something that I want to preach to you guys real quick is that organization is key. And I'm going to make this bold. I'm going to make it a little bigger, put a lot of exclamation points after it because I, I want everyone to understand that if you're organized and you know where stuff's at and it's easy to understand you don't want to have a desktop that has clutter all over it, has stuff in every direction. You don't know what's what. That's a bad idea if you're getting into this stuff. So organization is key. So we got our, our model sent to us in an email. I use Outlook, so here's my email program. If you use email through your desktop, if you open you know, Internet Edge, Microsoft Edge, you can use it there. If you use Chrome, you can open that up. But for the time being, I'm going to open up, and I can see that uh, Mike Tony, who's a SciTech guy, he built Mike Wagnon a model, and he says, as requested, please find the attached SCS 900 file and GCS 900 file. For what we're doing today, the SCS 900 file is going to be the important one. We're talking about rovers and SiteWorks. So before we save this, if you guys want to copy how I do all of this, you can. I'm going to try and make it simple. This is how I organize my files. But what we want to do is create a new folder. So if we right-click anywhere on our desktop, we see this new button come up, and we can click Folder. And I'm going to name this folder Trimble 
files. And I'm going to save all of my model files inside of this Trimble Files folder. So if I go back to my email, I want to take this SCS 900 folder and put it inside of my Trimble Files folder. So if I right click on it, this box pops up. I can hit Save As and this Save Attachment box opens. And I know that I created my Trimble Files folder on my desktop. So if I click the desktop, I can see the Trimble Files folder pops up. So if I double click on that, it opens up the Trimble Files folder. There's nothing in there yet because we just created it. And I want to hit save. My SCS 900 folder hits save. And a little trick for you guys, if you move your mouse all the way into the bottom corner over here, you can click and it'll take you right back to the desktop. And if I open my Trimble Files folder, I can see now I have my SCS 900 folder in here for the Russellville job. Now what's important here is we see this .zip folder and you can also see our folder symbol has a little zipper on it and we see that it's a compressed zip folder. So now we have to basically unzip this folder, which in computer terms we call it extracting. So if you don't see this .zip right here, there's a way around that. If we come up to view and click on that, we can see this file name extensions box. And if, it's, if I click it and uncheck it, we can see the dot zip goes away. We want to make sure that this file name extensions box is checkmarked because it tells us that this is a zip folder and it's going to be very critical for everything we do in the rest of this video series that we can see what the file types are. This is our file type right here, dot zip. So to extract this folder, I can right click and it says extract all when I right click it. I click on extract all and then I hit extract and it's going to open up another box. And if we read up here, it opened up that Russellville dash SCS 900 folder. I can close out of this and now I can see right next to my zip folder is the folder that I extracted from the zip file. So I can actually right click on this zip file and delete it because we've extracted it. And I now have the file that was sent to me. I have extracted it from the folder and I just have an unzipped file folder now. So I can double click and open this and I can open the next Russellville job folder. And now I have a designs and work orders folder. Remember, what we're looking for, what we're expecting our model builder to send to us is a DXF and a TTM. So if I look in this designs folder and I happen to know that Mike is using his model to do some grading with his dozer, I can open the grading folder and what do you know? There is my DXF file. I'm going to put these side by side real quick. My DXF file that I'm expecting to be sent that contains my line work. I can see there is my DXF folder and my TTM, my surface file, there it is. So we've got a TTM surface and a DXF line work. So what we did was we got our, our model builder sent us an email with the file in it. We saved that file to our Trimble Files folder, extracted it, and now we were left with this SCS 900 folder. And if we open up, we can see that we got a DXF and a TTM, a line work file and a surface file. So once again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preach on the organization. So the next time somebody sends us a new model, something different, we get, say we get to a new job and there's a new model, I'm going to use the same process and I'm just going to add it to this list. And eventually you'll have an entire list of jobs filling up this Trimble Files folder. But it's just going to make life much easier, say, if you need some help or you have an issue on a job and you call us up, we can easily track down 
where your jobs are and you can easily track down and keep up with which jobs are which and what is what. So in the next video, we're going to actually get into SiteWorks and what to actually do with these files once we're sent to them.